Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for joining us at Sherwin Nature Reserve South. Um, this is one of the many National Trust Nature Reserves. And for me, it's a really special place. Um, I've shared with some of you that I've been walking through the tracks as we know it for my whole life, like most of us. My grandmother lived just here in Jones's Village. She was the matriarch of the village. And just down at this end is the Daryls on Spring Hill, and that's where I grew up. So we had to come through here every day to get to Granny's house, which is the best part of the day. Since working at the Trust, I've been trying to find ways to engage in our spaces, engage with our community, and um, I have to admit I focused on those spaces that I spent more time myself and those spaces that I have a lot of care for personally. And as I said, this is one of them. I knew that this was a special place for Bermuda and I was very close with Malcolm Outerbridge and I knew of the incident that occurred here 10 years to this day and I knew that I wanted to commemorate Malcolm because he was such a special person. I worked with Malcolm uh, in the Parks Department for a couple of summers and he was vibrant, exciting, and excited to be at work, which is a pretty exciting thing for young people today. He motivated me, he motivated the people around him, and he was a joy to work with. I continue to do this work in the field of uh, natural heritage, but I find quite often that cultural heritage and natural heritage, they have a strong overlap. And the work I've had the opportunity to do here at Sherwin Nature Reserve has really shown that to me and it's proved it. We did a lot of work to clear out this space and many of you have seen it commented that it was almost a junkyard at times. Bottles, bikes, washing machines, car parks, hurricane debris, it was all there. Well over the last year, maybe a little bit more, we've taken the time, we've asked for help, and we've We've received that from both the community, individuals, school groups, Duke of Edinburgh volunteers, corporate groups that all believed in this story, believed in this project, and believe how important it is to continue to sustain our cultural heritage and our natural heritage. So I have to thank everybody who helped us to make this possible, clearing out all that rubbish, invasive species, planting over a hundred plants, over 50 native and endemic species into this space. And now the space also has this beautiful bench that we can use to sit and enjoy it, take it in, commemorate Malcolm, be thankful, and possibly learn a little bit about our environment and how intertwined everything is. What I've really learned over the last year in doing this project was that we need each other. We need everybody. And it required a lot of people, a lot of thinking, a lot of hands, both in the office and on the ground, to make it possible. And it was worth it. And all of it was done with smiles. And it's because we did it together. And that's what I really saw in working with Malcolm. He believed in our community. He was always happy to collaborate. He was a popular, friendly guy, and I hope we can continue to commemorate him and work together to continue to beautify and better Bermuda as we move along. So with that, I'm going to ask Bishop Ewing to come into this space and bless this space that's been prepared for all of us, but to commemorate Malcolm. Thank you. Let us pray. Loving Father, we recall with much sadness the tragic death of Malcolm on this day ten years ago in this place. Yet today we remember him with thankful hearts for all that was good about him, for all that he means to each one of us. We are grateful for his friendship, for his sense of fun, his ability to make us smile and his love of football 
especially his beloved Chelsea. We pray too for his parents, Kewell and Malcolm, and his sister Malkisha, that they will continue to be upheld by your loving presence. And now, Lord, we bless this bench in memory of Malcolm. May it be a source of blessing and peace for all who will sit upon it. This we pray in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So I was to say something um, about Nelson. Uh, we go to Riley Bermuda. Um, Okay. It, okay. It's definitely an honor to speak about Malcolm and how this tragedy has changed my life. I saw Malcolm a day or two before his tragic death and I noticed a different glow about him. After we greeted each other, he told me about an amazing experience he had with a program called Rally Bermuda. I noticed the excitement as he was talking about his experience. He had changed. He had changed as an individual and sharing with me his future. I was truly excited to see. After we hugged, said our goodbyes, we parted ways, and I was in awe to see Malcolm in such a happy and positive life. I guess it was something I needed to hear and see around because around that time I was going through a very dark stage in my life. Learning about Malcolm's death really hit me hard because I had never imagined a tragedy such as this hit so close to him. After Mal Malcolm's death, things got darker for me and I just wanted out. I remember sitting by myself having a moment and hearing a little whisper that said, don't worry, life will get better. At that moment, I remember the day I saw Malcolm for the last time and I remember the happiness and the joy in that moment of how of him sharing with me his rally experience and the imp and how it impacted his life so I decided not to give up and made the first step in seeking help I decided to go to one of rally's meetings at the office <laughs> and the rest is history so a little about my rally experience I did rally in 2012 and I went to Malaysia just like Malcolm did and during that time we actually came to this spot well every year we come to this spot and we are do what is called a, like a circle and what we will do is help young Bermudians kind of get all their emotions and whatever support they needed at that time and we would just share whatever hurt, whatever anger, whatever type of emotion they would feel and we would just sit here and gather as a family. I became a part of Rally's board, a chair person, sorry, the chairman of the alumni and I also got a chance to become uh, one of three logistics coordinators uh, for Rally Tanzania and I also got, a part, got to engage in a Rally International conference. So that is all due to Malcolm. <laughs> Today I stand here to say that if Malcolm did not share his experience with me or me not witnessing firsthand the happiness and joyful person he left us as, I don't know where or who I would be. It truly saddens me that I am unable to thank him in person for pointing me in the direction to seek and get help. But I am glad that the memories of Malcolm will be forever with me. Thank you. A mother is your first love, as her children are her last. A bond that continually stretches in the future and the past. Children hold their mother's hands for a brief time, but mothers always hold their children's hands forever, hearts forever. Death is the destination we all share. It's very likely the single best invention of life. It's life-changing agent 
clearing out the old to make way for the new. Today, we remember a special young man, Malcolm K. Otterbridge, and I thank Miles Darrow of the Bermuda National Trust and his staff for their kind donation of a bench and plaque affixed on the Sherwin Nature Reserve South Spot and hope its use will be a resting place for those in need. Many thanks. Malcolm died, um, unfortunately, trying to help those that were in a very dark, dismal place. And all he wanted was peace. And now I would like to introduce Tyler Ray and the Corey Love that will commemorate Malcolm using the poem to end this piece. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So we've been asked today to put a melody to my end is peace and I'm so honored, thank you for having me. And my end is peace is good. Life is but a stopping place, a pause in what's to be. A resting place along the road to sweet eternity. We all have different journeys. Different paths along the way We are meant to learn some things But never meant to stay My hand is peace My hand is peace My hand is peace My hand is peace Our destination is a place for greater than we know For some the journey quicker For some the journey flows And when the journey finally ends We'll claim a greater reward And find an everlasting peace Together with the love I really want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who contributed. Thank you for coming. Um, we're going to plant this cedar tree right here to commemorate this spot 10 years on, and I hope. Ten years from now, you'll all be here to join us again to remember this space and remember Malcolm and remember the works and uh, continue this. So thank you. Thank you for coming today. And um, please come out. Hopefully I'll see you here or on one of our other National Trust properties. Thank you. Please see